Hey y'all, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, please take 10 seconds out of your day to make a big difference in this single mama's life and go ahead and subscribe, hit the little like button, share this video, comment, do what you will, support my little algorithm. Um, I'm doing a little bit of a different reading today. We're reading today from the Russian Gypsy fortune telling cards. I am the Southern Strega, which is the Italian word for witch, and these are my Italian ancestors over here, but on this side are my Slavic ancestors. So I'm tapping into them today to bring you a little intuitive reading from the Gypsy fortune telling cards. Um, if you guys want an explanation of how this deck works, it's 25 cards. You use the entire deck for the reading. And there's a very specific way to use these cards. I'm doing a tutorial for that on my other channel. The link will be in the description box below. I will also be reading the actual book definitions of the cards that you pull that match up on here. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Um, that will also be in that video on my other channel. Go ahead and subscribe to that one while you're over there as well. Um, I'm going to do the intuitive portion. I read these cards differently. I'm an intuitive reader. I don't follow rules. I read the way that I'm called to read, and I'm called to read these in a very different way than is told to do so by the book. So, with that being said, let's get to your reading, all right? All right, let's get to your reading cancers. What's going on for my little cancer babies? Your girl is a cancer. Our sweet little cancer hearts. What does cancer need to know? What messages does cancer need to hear today? And I'm going to give you guys my intuitive version of this reading. And if you would like the extended where I give you the actual literal text, I'm going to read word for word from the book. All your matches that you get and what position they're in and what those mean for you. <laughs> that will be in the free extended version. Link will be in the description box below. It'll be on my other channel, Southern Strega Studies. So please subscribe to that one also while you're over there. All right, Cancer, what messages do you have for Cancer today? What does Cancer need to know? Stop there, okay. All right. Some of y'all have been in a stuck energy for a very, very long time. You've been thinking about wanting to partner up with somebody. You've been feeling like you need a change of luck. I do feel like that's coming to you. I feel like you're getting some kind of guidance or push from your ancestors to get you out of whatever this is. A lot of you guys have made very firm commitments to focus on your happiness. And I feel like that's being acknowledged here. And I feel like that's calling in a lot of good luck for you. Yeah, you are. Some of you are calling in your soulmate, literally. Some of them, some of you, your soulmate is like on the way to you and you don't even know it. They're coming out of the woods. I just got, and there's like a moth to a flame energy with whatever this is. It's like being very, very drawn to something, like feeling like you're committed to this forever. It's almost like a past life connection that I'm feeling with this. A lot of you, this is a friend from childhood, all right? Somebody's getting a wake-up call. I feel like this is somebody from your past. I feel like it's somebody you've known for a very long time. They're getting a wake-up call here, all right? They're dealing with some demons at the current moment. I do feel like you will end up eventually like breaking bread with this person, like having a meal with this person. A lot of you are getting a call from somebody from the past that wants to sit down and have a chat with you after this is a side message. This person is very childish, all right? They haven't dealt with their demons yet. They want your attention. Also, I feel like somebody's like, like depending on you for sustenance. I don't know why I'm getting that. Yeah, there is somebody traveling your way that does not have good intentions. I don't feel like this is the same. This is a different message. All these are separate messages, P.S. This is somebody traveling your way, all right? They've been unable to calm things down for themselves. They've been in like Knight of Wands in the reverse energy, like some very <coughs> reckless energy, like not doing things that are like in their greatest benefit. I feel like they're heading your way to try to, yeah, they are. There's that mommy energy. They feel like you'll fix it for them. Also, they literally want you to feed them. Like they want to be fed. I have to tell you that. Some of you might just have teenagers returning home, all right? Something coming up like at the break. They, they like are realizing they can't handle life on their own. There's an energy of somebody like not being able to take care of their own shit and they're trying to come to you to try to straighten all that out. You need to give that person some truth bombs. They need to learn something from you. Like there's something you need. To, it's like that teach a man to fish thing. If you teach them to fish, they'll be able to fish for life. If you just feed them a fish, then you know, they'll starve the next day. 
This is beautiful energy right here. This is very lucky energy. You got the sun and the clover with the road, the dog, and the little boy. This is something that like awakens your inner child. This is healing your inner child. I just got that for you guys. You guys have a long journey with that, but it's happening, all right? Something's finally clicking. I do feel like this comes with the help of some very committed energy. This is also you, you know, understanding that a lot of these commitments that you got yourself into, a lot of these roads that you took led you to this very untrustworthy energy. I feel like a lot of you kept pouring into that or kept trying to move into that direction. Like all roads you felt like led back to whatever this toxic energy was. I do feel like you're coming out of that. I feel like you're dealing with your demons here. A lot of you have a really good friend that's helping you out of the, you know, woods. Or you have a good friend that needs to be helped out of the woods. And I feel like they're hiding that from you. A lot of them aren't making that known. It's a very secretive energy with these cards the way they are right here. <coughs> Somebody doesn't want something exposed. They're just trying to act like nothing's wrong here. They're just trying to move past it. But they they are about to head into a period of a great confusion of getting lost. Somebody's about to get lost. They're dealing with demons. I feel addiction with this card a lot. Somebody is hiding an addiction here from you. Yeah, they are. And that's calling it a lot of bad luck. Somebody's heart is very broken, all right, with whatever this is. Somebody's got a lot of trauma associated they're about to get a really bad wake-up call. A bad one. I hate to say this, but these cards do predict death. And I don't like to predict death, but this is somebody overdosing. This is somebody doing reckless behavior and <clears throat> getting an alarming wake-up call. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. I feel it. It's like, you know, somebody who's a drunk and they drive around all the time and they never get caught. Well, they're going to get in an accident or something like that. And it's going to, like, make them realize that they have to make changes. Some of you are getting good news, all right, that's going to move you past something that's been holding you back. A lot of roads are opening up, I feel like. I do feel like you're going to have more than one option. I feel like it's going to be readily apparent that you need to disconnect from something. I also feel like you guys are having a hard time. Some of you are having a hard time getting your footing. There's a need to become grounded and make peace with something from the past and move on from it. There's still some information that you feel like you need before you do that, all right? I don't feel like you need to get that information. I don't feel like it's important. A lot of you have been waiting on a commitment with somebody. Something about that energy feels like it's, it's slipping away. Somebody's also trying to unexpectedly, like, trap somebody in some kind of a commitment somebody's trying to like put their best foot forward and you know show their it's all like a suck up energy it's like somebody putting on airs or putting on you know their best face to try to get somebody to commit to try to get someone to allow them into their house like literally some of you are traveling for a wedding or a commitment or partner or something like that family gathering a lot of you are making amends with your kids or they're coming to, if there's been some tumultuous situations involving a child, that's being made right, all right? Somebody is realizing that they need to do actually what's in the best interest of the child, which is shocking. <laughs> it's like somebody's like putting their ego aside and saying, you know, I, this is what needs to be done. This is the right thing. It's a very loyal energy. It's somebody who's like figuring out that they they shouldn't be the center of attention that there's something you know they need to be doing the right thing and being the bigger person here it's like somebody's being an adult a lot of you are going to find something out about a friend or a you know close companion somebody that you've known for a very long time that you thought was loyal you're going to find out something that you don't like about this it's like um almost a selfish energy you're going to feel the need to cut whatever this is off I do feel like this energy, this has been going on for longer than you know about. There's something just coming to light, though. You're finally, like, getting wise to whatever the situation is. Yeah, you are. A lot of you just had to deal with money, all right? Somebody was hanging around you for financial purposes or trying to use you for a financial purpose. Yeah, because that fire matches up. That's like a tower moment. And it involves money, trickery, and something you've been deeply committed to and very overprotective of. 
this is something that you've been very kind with and been very, you know, peaceful and you've been waiting peacefully on this to pan out. I don't like this energy. I don't like that this is in the center of your reading. Be very careful what you're investing in, especially stocks and things like that. Yeah, the money matches up too. You got money to the south. You got fire. What else do we have? Moon energy. Somebody's going to be catching karma, all right? I don't feel like this is like a masculine energy here. It's almost like somebody feels like they got control of something, but they don't, all right? They're about to experience some very bad luck because they've been very unclear about their intentions. They've kept a lot of secrets. They've been immovable. They've been very um, unflexible. Like, they're not able to budge at all. It's like emperor in reverse energy that I get with this. <coughs> I do feel like this could deal with the home situation. I also feel like somebody's hiding something about their home situation. This is, it's like a really, it's kind of almost a scary energy to be honest with you. It's almost like abuse within a house that somebody is not exposing or somebody is not, you know, telling somebody about. It's like a misfortune that someone's going through and they're trying to hide it and I play it off like there's nothing wrong here. There is something wrong there and that is a situation that needs to be dealt with, all right, or before it becomes permanent. A lot of you are getting news of a new baby coming in. Something about this baby. This baby actually is when it's born, all right? It's, or some of you have just had a baby or you have a child who you feel this way about. You're right, all right? Some of you feel like literally one of your children or a child you're about to have is the reincarnation of one of your ancestors that you knew. And I feel like you're correct. <laughs> it's almost like they're coming back to this earth to like right a wrong or to like, you know, fix something or to bring in some kind of abundance for the family line. There's some kind of an addition to the family tree that's already here or is not here yet, but is on the way that it's it's very fortuitous. I can't explain to you how fortuitous. It carries the energy of somebody from the past into this new life. And I feel like that's going to do some good, especially I don't, I get for humanity. You know, you have the hearse cancer. I never like seeing the hearse match up. You have the hearse matching up. A lot of you, I want you to know that if you do experience a death of a loved one in the near future, that this person will be quickly reborn into somebody that you know in the near future. I also feel like you're going to sense a very, some of you, there's like a strange urge to be very overprotective of somebody. And it's because you've known this person from a past life. Your inklings are correct about that. Your, your draw to want to care for whatever this energy is to be like a mama bear to whatever this energy is, is because you've known this person in a past life. A lot of you, your heart is going to get in trouble. You're, you're going to get yourself in trouble with your heart. Your heart is playing tricks on you and that's going to lead to some financial ruin. You need to get wise about whatever that is. You need to stop glossing over things, all right, based out of the fact that you're in love with this energy or you're trying to gain affection from this energy. Trying to gain this energy's affection is, is causing a great injustice for you. It's almost like you're throwing your brain completely out the window here. Like you refuse to see trickery. You refuse to see deception. You, a lot of you, th there's one energy where you're very overprotective of and you should be. And then on the other hand, there's some of you that are protecting the absolute wrong energy. <clears throat> you're pouring your heart into the wrong thing here. Also, a lot of you, this is you giving your all in a job situation when there's nothing else that you can gain here or learn here. It's also not paying you what you deserved. Wow, this is good. This is you getting some news, all right? Of a lot of you are going to be, you know, signing papers of some sort that will commit you to something that's very good for you. It's going to cause a lot of emotional confusion, but it will be a permanent energy, and it is something that will bring justice to your life. It feels like a commitment of some sort. A lot of you are severing ties with a divorce, all right? And that is very confusing. Um, a lot of you are going to be in a very confusing legal situation that will affect your home. So I feel like there's a need for you to protect yourself to that. I don't want you to let your emotions come into play and whatever that is. 
you have to be like in swords energy when you deal with this. You can't allow your feelings to like distract you here or to make you feel sorry for whatever this energy is. You need to protect you and yours. There's the fish matching up there. A lot of you are getting some energy about, it's almost like a house guest coming to stay with you that's going to be like overstay their welcome or this is already happening. A lot of you guys are figuring out a way to make your own luck. <laughs> and a lot of you guys are finishing some kind of course degree, you know, promotion. Something here is happening. You're healing something. You're, you're completing something. You're reaching a goal. And it's sending you on a new path. And it's bringing a lot of clarity. A lot of you guys are just having an aha moment about what you finally need to go. Where you finally, you know, where you finally need to go. What you finally need to do. You're getting that. And that's very spiritually guided here. Yep, the book matches up here. There's going to be a lot of people that are very confused, all right, when you make this decision or when you get this information or when you have this moment of clarity and you finally realize what your hopes and dreams are and you go for it. That's going to, there's going to be a lot of people trying to stop you from doing that. They're doing that because they're highly, you know, emotionally attached to you and they don't know how to express that. They're trying to keep you back, tie you down with that rope energy there. Yeah, because they want you right where you are. They don't want you to learn these things. They don't want you to better yourself. They want you to stay in this mountain energy where you don't move. They don't like you to grow. They don't like you to blossom. They don't like you disconnecting. Somebody's keeping information from you. They're purposely preventing you from learning things or advancing yourselves because they don't want you to move on. They don't want you to go further. They don't want you to level up because that means you'll be leaving them in the past. Your angels are not going to allow that to happen. This is faded. Whatever this is, whatever this move is, whatever this epiphany is, it's faded and it's permanent and it will not go anywhere. And no matter how hard they try, they're not going to be able to do that. They're not going to be able to disconnect you from whatever this knowledge is. They're not going to be able to keep hiding the secret. The more they try to hide it, the more your ancestors are going to push to expose it and draw it to light. Oh, you got the anchor matching at the very end. A lot of you guys are making peace with the past. It's something that you've been holding on to for a very long time with that anchor up above everything. There's like a little bird in your ear. It's going to tell you something that's going to make you realize how you disconnect from this and why this commitment had to end. And you're, you're putting that to rest. You're making peace with the past, literally. All right, Cancer. So you guys have the anchor to the left, the ring to the south, the cardinal to the right, the scythe to the north you have the fish to the north you have the the book to the north you have the snake to the north a lot of yours are facing north i feel like gemini or taurus one of them had everything to the south you have the star to the east. You have the um, coffin, the hearse, whatever this is. I forget what I called it. It's not a good one. All right, I don't like that card. It's a hearse. You have that to the south. It's usually pretty ominous. And again, I'm going to do the book readings. Click on the little link to go get your book reading and see what it means for you. What else did you have? You have the horse to the south. You have the fire, the bonfire to the north. I believe that is it for you, Cancer. Yep. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to my other page and read you those book answers and also explain this deck to you. So if you want to go learn about some tarot today and get your free extended reading, please click on the link in the description box below and make sure you subscribe to my other little witchy wisdom channel while you're over there. Thank you, my cancer babies. I love you. I'll catch you next time. Bye.